We begin this new time with the breaking news. Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline stepping down. I'm Kate Walsh. Cicilline making the announcement earlier this morning that he will resign in a few months. The Rhode Island Congressman will be taking over as the next president and CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation. His last day will reportedly be June 1st. Cicilline's resignation will lead to a special election to fill his seat, but that date has not yet been determined. We have team coverage of today's announcement. Chino Loshudo has reaction from local officials. But first, let's go to Ted Nisi, who spoke to Cicilline in the past hour. Ted. Well, Kate, it's rare for a political story to qualify as a true bombshell, but this one counts. David Cicilline stepping down from the U.S. House after 12 years in Congress and nearly three decades in elected office in Rhode Island. I spoke with Cicilline just a few minutes ago here at his district office in Pawtucket. He says the Rhode Island Foundation approached him about the job a few months ago, but he only decided to accept their offer in the past few days. You know, you can tell me everyone, I will never not believe that to some extent you looked around at the current state of the House and it was maybe less appealing than it has been in the past. Look, I mean, I think the House has always been um, a partisan place, at least for most of the time that I've been there. I think it's gotten particularly bad now with the new Republican majority. What I knew for sure is, as I thought about where can I make the biggest difference in Rhode Island, leading this incredible organization that's involved in all of the things that matter, health care and economic opportunity and education, or, you know, spending the next few years in the House. And there was no question that I am certain that I'm going to have a greater impact on Rhode Island and improving the lives of Rhode Islanders as the president and CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation. Cicilline's decision already setting off a huge domino effect in Rhode Island politics. The list of candidates considering a run in the special election to replace him is growing by the hour. We'll have much more on the names of who might seek to represent the 1st District coming up starting at 4 on 12 News. Right now, though, let's go to my colleague Sheena Lasciuto, who has more reaction from local officials. Sheena. Well, Ted, right now we're live in Providence in front of the Rhode Island Foundation. This, of course, is where Cicilline will report to work starting in June. And moments ago, we also heard from Governor Dan McKee, who just took the time to thank Cicilline for all of his work he's done for the state and the community so far, while also acknowledging, like you mentioned, a lot of people are going to want to take his seat in Congress. Now, Cicilline was handpicked to be the new CEO at the Rhode Island Foundation after what the foundation calls a thorough national search. The Rhode Island Foundation is the state's community foundation and is the largest funder of nonprofits. We interviewed the outgoing CEO a short time ago. He has incredible track record of public service to and for Rhode Island as mayor, as congressman, so his knowledge of the community, his passion, his commitment, his intellect, uh, and his network. And so I think there's a lot of positives here. So what happens now and what does it all look like moving forward? After this, we're planning on interviewing the Secretary of State to get a better idea and explanation about how that will all look. And like Ted mentioned, we'll have all of that for you starting tonight at 4 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.